ex-girlfriend's sister. Uh, hey, Billy Bergenstocks, uh, I'm 26 um, and still in love with my high school sweetheart. We've been on and off for, again for 10 years and have gone through a lot to say the least. Jesus Christ, yes. I just got back from a two-week vacation with her where everything was perfect and we had the time of our lives. This is the woman I want to start a family with and it became more and more apparent on this trip. Congratulations, what could go wrong? Um, here's the thing. I slept with her sister on a drunken, blacked out night three years ago while me and her were not together and were on bad terms. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. My heart was broken and I had a lot of resentment. I was 23, drunk, weak. Shut the fuck up, dude. You had a dick. You fucking jerked off to her while you were dating her other... Sit, sit, get the fuck out of here. Don't fucking come at me. I got a dick too, all right? Don't fuck. And her younger sister came on to me. Oh my God, you victim. Things were different then and I was a mess. Listen, I'm not saying you weren't fucking heartbroken. You were, you, you were fucking psyched the next day. There you go. You know what? You just got to check off a whole family. <laughs> all you got left to do is bang their mother. Um... That's got to be called something like the Grand Slam. You know, like when Tiger Woods won four in a row and they were saying he won the Grand Slam. You won, you won all four majors. Would be if you bang the mother and all the daughters. That would be the Grand Slam. Uh, the amount of guys laughing right now while the women are pissed. Uh, well, a year or so later, me and my high school sweetie started talking again and started to become close, leading up to where it is now. I had an unbelievable guilt for what I did with their sister the, the closer me and this girl got years later. It is the only thing that I haven't been honest with her about, and I had to tell her, you fucking idiot. No, you didn't. You should have talked to your sister. And they been like, look, what are we going to do here? You know? Is it, is it, how does it make things better that you told her? That's such a, and, that, and then like for the rest of their fucking lives, that's going to be a problem between the two of them. Ah, oh, Jesus. You shouldn't have said shit and just waited till 20 years later when the sister, you know, who never got married gets fucking hammered and you go, yeah, well, I fucked your husband 25 years ago. And at that point, you know, what are you going to do? You'd be like, yeah, it was, dude, it was in the fucking 2000s. What do you want from me? Um, anyways, he goes, uh, well, a year or so later, me and, and the high school sweetie started talking again, blah, 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 blah. I had an unbelievable guilt. Um... So I had to tell. So the last night of our vacation, oh my God, we were laying in bed and I told her everything. I took a slap. She was crying for hours and it was as ugly as you can imagine. Well, you know what, dude? I commend you. You got it off your fucking chest. He goes, I feel terrible and am torn on if it was the right decision to tell her. My friends are giving me mixed answers and I would like an outside perspective from someone who I respect greatly. Uh, well, Jesus, well, I appreciate you respect me. Um, I don't know, do you? If it was really bugging you and you felt like you had to tell her, good, good, you told her. You know? Now you don't have to worry about that fucking thing coming out of nowhere. He goes, it is still fresh and everything is confusing on what is next. We love each other very much, but obviously I fucked up big time. Do you think this relationship stands a chance? I really hope it does, but I'm worried I ruined it. She seems to be getting through it better than I thought after her first reaction. She told me she loves me, but I really hurt her, and she needs some space because when I'm... <laughs> she needs some space. I hope you don't have a brother. <laughs> because when I'm with her... Okay, she told me she loves me, but I really hurt her, and she needs some space because when I'm with her, she can't be mad at me. I'm not a scumbag, and this is completely out of character for me to do. I just made a terrible mistake. Thanks, and go fuck yourself. I will say, the fact that you actually feel this level of guilt, um, uh, you're a better man than me because I wouldn't have said shit. I just would have just been like, well, I hope this doesn't fucking come out someday while we're having pumpkin pie over Thanksgiving. Uh, and I bet there's a lot of people out there that live with that secret. My thing is not only the cowardly self-preservation that I would try to have, I would also, I'm also thinking like, this is how I would have handled that situation. I either wouldn't have said shit 
or I would just break up with her and just walk away from it because I, I wouldn't say, hey, by the way, I banged your sister. And then for the rest of their life, they have to fucking deal with that um, when I'm the piece of shit that did it. But I have to commend you that you actually felt that level of guilt and said something because uh, I, I don't know. So it sounds to me that you're going to get past it. So the good thing is that now you don't have to worry about that fucking grand piano fall crashing down on your fucking life someday. So that's the upside. Um, maybe there's an upside that you told her where she'll have faith in you that like, wow, this guy actually feels guilt about stuff like that. So I can't trust him. We were broken up while it happened. Um, you know, let me see if I can get Nia in here for this one. Hang on a second. All right, the magic of the pause button again. The lovely Nia is here. Hi. Hey, how you doing? All right, ex-girlfriend's sister. Oh, Jesus. Uh, all right, really quickly, this guy. All right, I'll give you the abridged version. Uh, I've been on and off again for 10 years. Just got back from a two-week vacation with her. Everything was perfect. We had the time of our lives. This is the woman I want to start a family with. Uh, here's the thing. I slept with his sister on a drunken blacked out night three years ago while we met, <laughs> while, uh, while we, me and her were not together and we're on bad turns. My heart was broken. I had a lot of resentment. I was 23 drunk week and her younger sister came on to me. I don't know. I tell you, that's a rough one. <laughs> that's, that's, a, rough that's one. a real rough one. <laughs> <laughs> you like how he makes himself the victim? Yeah. She came on to me. You, okay. I said earlier, I said, dude, I have a dick too. Don't fucking lie yeah, to me. Exactly. I Stop said, it. I said you rubbed one out to her before you fucking... Yes, the seeds have been planted for a while that you've been wanting to fuck the sister. Don't try to act like, oh, I was so heartbroken. You and the sister are both dirty. Okay, so here's the deal. He goes, he felt terrible the last night of the vacation. He couldn't deal with the guilt, so he told her. Oh my God. He goes, I tell, he goes, I took a slap. She was crying for hours and it was as ugly as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, all right. She told me she loves me, but I really hurt her and she needs some space because when I'm with, with her, she can't be mad at me. I'm not a scumbag and this is completely out of character for me to do. I just made a terrible mistake. So he's basically saying, do you think the uh, relationship stands a chance? I really hope it does, but I'm worried I ruined it. She seems to be getting through it better than I thought after her first reaction. What do you think? Yeah, no, it's, it's not going to happen. You fucked her sister. It's over. That's it. You think so? Yeah, because, I mean, maybe. Maybe there are some people who are more emotionally evolved than I am, but I couldn't get better. Like, that's her sister. Like, her sister's not going anywhere. And, like, how's it going to be at, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas and, like, all that kind of stuff? Like, you're just going to avoid each other or just kind of, like, it's weird. I mean, maybe the three of them can have... A threesome! No! And just get it all away! <laughs> yes! That's no! exactly what I was thinking. You can't Absolutely. you can't have a threesome with your sister. That's disgusting. That's gross. I would never want to see you my just sister stand there getting, no. talking to each other and he's behind Ta- them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, talking to each other. Hey, no. remember when we went to uh, the water park? Oh, God. oh no, stop. <laughs> Unless the three of them sit down and both this guy and the sister are so repentant and so whatever, but like you, I, you'd never be able to trust them. You'd no. never no. be like, oh yeah, can you guys run out and like, you know, get some extra sugar and By more groceries? Way, try not to fuck <laughs> <Right>. each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So, and that's the thing. She might be okay with him now, but in the end, she's going to choose her sister. Like that, no matter how her sister betrayed her, that's the sister. So, you are disposable. You're just like the dude. That's her family. So, if you think that you really have a chance. But I feel like they're done too. Her and the sister? Yes. Her and the sister will probably get past it. Like, I have have to say, a long, long, long ways from now, and it'll probably always still be there, but because they're family. I mean, family betrays each other all the time, you know? Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I think what she did was worse than what he did. The sister? Yeah. Oh, definitely. If we're going to, like, put them on who was the worst person in the situation, the sister, 100%. So here's what I learned. You never do that. If you're with a woman, okay, Mm -hmm. okay, you guys break up and blah, 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 if her sister comes on to you 
Like, <laughs> you are effectively ending that relationship forever. Yeah. Yeah. Not and, only and what, do you yeah, think he should have told her, with her you, and the relationship. Do you think he should have told her? Uh, the thing about it is, is that he told her because he felt guilty. So it was to unburden his own conscience because it wasn't real. Because there's nothing in telling her that would make her feel better. And oh my God, thank you so much for being honest with me. That's the sister. So. I don't know. I, I don't really Is know how nothing, to answer nothing that. nothing commendable that he had such guilt that he had to tell her? Not really, because people are hey, burdened ooh, with guilt all that. the time. And they like, oh, I just had to get it off my chest. And it's like, great, congratulations. It's off your chest. Now I feel shitty. So was that really for me or was that for you? Nia Renee Hill coming here <laughs> bringing the lumber. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I don't, I don't, I'm not with that whole like, well, at least he was honest with you. It's like, for what? For me? No. That was all for him to I never himself. looked at it that way. Wow. Yeah. Not that I don't think apologies are worthwhile or I don't, I, it's not like I don't think that you should apologize for something you did wrong, but I just feel like you really need to question. I was question, really hoping that's what you were saying. Yeah. You really need to <laughs> question your motivations for confessing something of this level. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you really trying to do? A lot of times people are just trying to unburden themselves. Well, that's what I was saying. The best thing now is he got it out there so he doesn't have to worry about that grand piano coming crashing down into his life someday. Like I was saying, they're having like fucking Thanksgiving dinner. What I want to know is what is going on between the girl and the sister. Because obviously... That's no sister. That's no real. I don't know. That's what know, I'm more. You know what's something in. else? Why that's fucked up is because now you know that the parents know. You know. You think she would have told the parents, like, mom? But if they know, Stephanie fucked my boyfriend. Yeah, and then they got to be like, oh my god, we raised a whore. And I don't think that she's a whore. I'm not sure she's not a whore. But, I'm saying, but she people got, make, she got people some make issues. mistakes. But she's that's got, really no, that, that's, yeah. that's issues. No, no, that's that's beyond. That's a power thing. Yeah, it is. It's a total <gasps> power thing. It is. I wonder if this was a younger sister. And I wonder, like, who knows? But that's what I'm more intrigued about now. It's like, what's going to happen with these sisters? You know, that's like that's some deep shit right there. Some, so yeah, I don't know. Th- that's like a power thing on her thing, saying like, you know, as much as you're into her, you still can't fucking resist me. Mm-hmm. What is it? Yeah, maybe so. Because who does that? Who goes after? Nia, let us into the female mind. I I can't let you in on that. It. That's not a female thing. That's like a dirty ass hoe. Bitch, nasty person. I don't know what that's like. I would never go after a relative's like significant other. So where do you draw the line? What do you mean? Coworker. <laughs> so you're not <laughs> <laughs> just so the people know, because you really have strong opinions on this. So I want to know. I do. So family, obviously. Yeah. No, hey, you don't do that. Yeah. If, 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 they, if this family, is a person that is clearly in a relationship with somebody else. And you know, we got they've all been that. together. I like, want to know. I want to know where you draw the line. Coworker, you okay? You guys occasionally have lunch together with the sister's coworker. Yeah, and there's something the guy's got like he does like the the paisley tie with the suspenders. You know that? Oh, always, can't resist that. Yeah, you guys always go nuts about that. <laughs> no belt, <laughs> no suspender. Belts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have suspenders, you don't need a belt. So, but anyway, um, yeah. what if he has both? Suspenders and a belt, and then you think like, then "Wow, I don't this know guy, what it is that you're trying to do." Well, maybe why would you have both? Wouldn't that <laughs> wouldn't that like get that thing that female thing where like you'd feel safe? Like this guy's really gonna have like he's gonna have an alarm system and a gun. Yeah, I know. And a sword and and wear two condoms. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, no. I mean, if they're not involved, if they're not like in a real relationship, neighbors. Then, yeah, that's neighbor. Not would a, you would you bang a neighbor? Would I bang like my sister's Which, neighbor? No, not your sister's neighbor. No, we're taking family out of it. Oh, I'm okay. saying where where is the line where mm-hmm. it's just like, well, whatever, bitch, you know. Isn't that how you guys say? It? You put the hand up, <laughs> whatever, bitch. But um, what are you talking about? I'm it's, saying because you're saying like, that's family. You can't fucking do that. I was right. just trying to find a comedic angle here. Now oh, like, I see what you mean. I mean. Neighbor, two streets over. Your neighbor knew them, invited you over, and you went over there. You know what? I have a real life example of this. The guy, was, a, the guy was an architect. 
Okay, all right, I, I got it. Um, <laughs> I have a real life example of this. During okay. during my prom, I went my senior prom. I oh, went with somebody you're else. You're dirty. Yep. Wait a minute. I went with somebody who was just a friend. Okay, but Bismarcky. my friend, yes, Bismarcky. Yep. <laughs> he was just a friend. <laughs> um, but my friend went to the prom with this guy that she had just met and they were set up by another friend. Oh. He went to a different school. So they didn't really like know each other. Here come the but justif- that was the day. justifications. The is, they just we- met. <laughs> they were set up by friends. So I'm totally innocent. So we just say really, the dirty thing you we did. We really connected during prom and like oh. as you know that was not what happened. As you know my prom did not end that great. My parents like came and like took me from this house that I was in because I was dumb enough wait to tell them the truth I called my parents because I was supposed to spend the night at a girlfriend's house but instead we were going to be hanging out at this boy's house his older sister was there there was a whole bunch of us but we were hanging out I was having such a great time that I called my parents and I said hey just so you know I'm staying here my mom completely flipped out and she and my stepfather came and like extracted me from the home. So exactly. that's how my prom ended. Exactly. So it didn't end on any, it was a very traumatic, but... Great parents. Ultimately, they did the right thing. Um, but anyway, he, me and this guy ended up connecting, and we ended up, like, dating afterward. So, you know... Um, oh, that's different. I thought you were saying, like, you know... Like, I, we went in the bathroom, went like, went to the, the front part of the limo and, and put the window up. <laughs> no. No, no, no. But... It wasn't her boyfriend. They had just met. I think she definitely felt some type of way about it, you know? Um, Only because he chose you over her. Exactly. You guys didn't have any sort of, like, friendship, friendship? No, she and I were <laughs> really good friends. Yeah, that, yeah no. <laughs> no, that's not good. Oh, that's a rough one. But it wasn't her oh, boyfriend. there been a lot of rough ones saying. here. A lot of rough ones. And we dated for a while. We dated up until, you know, like I went to college, basically. And that was that was the end of that. So it wasn't like this long-term, you know, torrid affair. It wasn't like he was my first love or anything. He was just really cute and a football player and likes Bob Marley. You know, hey, what can I say? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorted, sorted, sorted <laughs> details here. All right. Well, that's the podcast for this week. Um, geez, and you came hard this week. You came hard. You really fucking just put that guy. You just said, you know what? Then that's it. It's a fucking wrap. And you know what? I think you're right. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. I can say that. Yeah. As I sit here in my PJs. Yeah. 